Alex. Right, that is all. Off we go. Going to give you a bit of insight this morning into what we do with the young pointers when we're starting them off and building them up to running. Down the railway line, we give them a pop first of all. the obstacles build up in size so we get some lorry tyres here we have the hurdle in between just to give them a bit more confidence and another set of lorry tyres and then finishing off with the easy fix fence Boy. the railway line is unbelievable the jumping lane there for just getting their confidence as you can see with it being hedged either side they can't really run out either side and you can see how the obstacles build up in height as the horses gain confidence and we're really working down there on sort of their technique not too quick getting them sort of in nice and tight to their obstacles and making them use their body and develop their technique properly we're going to give the courses one canter up the hill and then we're going to jump them up on our strip at the top on the all weather because as the ground has dried out quickly it's almost too quick to school on the grass at the moment so We'll give them a jump on the all weather today. Okay, Alex. We're just now going to jump sort of two or three lines of this on over the all weather strip that you can see just in front of us now. Three easy fix fences that come fairly quick. Just all about trying to get these babies good and sharp and sort of make them think quickly about what they're doing and have to adjust sharply as, as they would do in a race. I'm on a Diamond Boy four-year-old called Dondium. Uh, he's about ready to run now, hopefully. And uh, Alice Stevens that rides for us on a four-year-old filly by, uh, by, by a standing called Conig Turf called Hoka Blin. And she's also sort of ready to go. As, uh, there's a race coming up for her in about just over two weeks time. And we've got an old horse in front of us called Spring Cover, ridden by Alexandra Ingram, who's just going to lead us a couple of times. Okay, Alex. Off we go. And as you see, the fence is upon us pretty quickly. Boy. Nice and tight there. Lovely. A little bit fresh afterwards. It's good to see. Dondian was excellent there, met the first on a good stride, was nice and deep to the second but sharp doing it and then met the third on a nice, nice sort of flowing stride, just jumping it out of his own rhythm and he seems in a really good place with his jumping now, seems to have bags of confidence with it and hopefully that will keep moving forward up to when he's sort of ready to run and make his debut which should be in the next two or three weeks. Alice and I are going to go up sides now, just, we just sort of mess around with going left, one of us on the left and the right and then swap sides just so they're doing different things each time they go up and we might the third time go without a lead as well so they're having to lead themselves okay all right I'll sharp this filly is alongside me she's a uh, she's very very quick through the air and much as I wing the second she was then straight back up size me in, in fairness at the third I thought I'd seen a long one but Dondium decided otherwise but he was good and quick doing it and again you need to have that at home schooling sometimes we're not always going to be on the same page and we're sort of trying to press them now and always be going forward on them to teach them to sort of sort things out for themselves because it's very important once they come to racing that they're able to sort of think on their own feet and work things out for themselves because it's going to be impossible for the jockey to be able to nurse them the whole way around in a racing situation. Alice and I are going to go in front this time to so something new for them that they haven't got a lead horse to follow and we're just going to swap sides so we've both been on either side of the strip. All right.
pleased with that. He was nice and long at the first and, and, and came up just a little bit deep at the second and uh, and then good at the last. It's like, it's like I say, there's a, there's no problem with his jumping. He's just up, he's just going alongside a filly that is very, very sharp to jump. And it seems to come effortless in her. She finds that sort of constant rhythm that uh, enables her to sort of stay immediately up in, fr in front of the rider's leg and so quick away from her fences, which hopefully will be a big asset when she comes to run. And a couple of times with this lad, what was good was I sort of left him to his own devices and he sort of made the right call, sort of put in a short stride and just chipped in, which was a good thing to do because, again, it's very important that we have clean, safe jumping as well to look after his rider and himself. And for a baby at this stage of his career, it's good to see him able to make those sort of calls. This lad's actually jumped well. Just a couple of times he's met the fences on, on deep strides where I've left him to make his own decision. And he's made the right call as to put in a shorter stride. But as you can see with that filly, she's just so sharp away from her fences. It almost makes him look like he's a bit slow to jump and I don't think he is at all he's just doing everything right he's just up against a filly that is is very very good at this stage of her life as in the, like I say this hope to blim behind the the jumping that she's done for a, for a filly at this stage of her life is is really above average and something that you wouldn't see that often to have so much confidence and so much sharpness in, in everything that she does